September 2nd, 2023, Saturday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, on the subject of fraternal charity, you have no need for anyone to write you. For you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. Indeed, you do this for all the brothers throughout Macedonia. Nevertheless, we urge you, brothers and sisters, to progress even more and to aspire to live a tranquil life, to mind your own affairs, and to work with your own hands as we instructed you. The Word of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm The response is, The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him his holy arm. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately, the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you are faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting what you did not plant, and gathering what you did not scatter. So out of fear I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter? Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? 
Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to every one who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw the useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord.